Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Kaz, and in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to do a custom text pendant in Blender like this. So this video has actually been requested by you guys. I posted a Cuban, how to do a Cuban link in Blender a couple months ago, and you guys went off on the comments, and you guys were like, yo, how can I... How can I make a custom pendant, um, do a tutorial, do a tutorial, do a tutorial. So here it is. So for this first step, we're going to be using Illustrator um, and we're going to go ahead and vectorize our own quick logo or text, whatever you want to do. Um, if you already have your own, then you might not need this. Follow, you might not need to follow this process, but I am gonna go ahead and show you a quick little trick on how we could actually make this pendant work perfectly so that it's imported into uh, 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 Blender and it's gonna be a quick workflow. So if you wanna follow along, do that. If not, skip to this time code down here and it'll send you to the following step in Blender. Anyways, that being said, here in Illustrator, we're gonna go ahead and click on this text um, tool or type tool and uh, we're gonna type in letter P. So literally, this is all I did to create this cool, quick logo. Um, I added a P, um, I went ahead and did a duplicate of it for the first one. I transform reflect on the vertical axis and you'll have something like this. We'll put this together. All right. So back to it. Um, pretty much all I did was I took two P's like this. Um, and then after you have this, maybe leave a bit more spacing in between. Um, and then after this, of course you go to object. And this could be with any typography, any anything you could do with the type with with the text. Once you're done, you know, setting up your letters however you want them to be and whatnot, you choose your font. I have Hansen over here. You can literally go and do any font you might want to do. But in this case, I'm gonna stick to this one. Um, after you have this, what you do is you go to um, Object, Expand, and click OK. What this does is now from being a text, it's just a shape. And by that, what I mean is you can actually go ahead and play with these points over here and, you know, do cool things like that. Um, so we could, you know, take these points right here and do the same. You know, you, you'll be able to do things like this. So I actually want to stick with the original like this. Um, I have my curve and whatnot. But now what we actually need is we need an outline. And um, I'll, I'll show you right now why you will need an outline. So you'll go to um, path, offset path, and just make sure that the outline actually connects. It does a whole connection in it. Um, so honestly, this would work. Um, you could even honestly do one point, uh, not one point five, do point two. Um, and then once you have this, what you want to do is um, have Pathfinder here on the right side, or if not, go to window and. Um, you could click on Pathfinder over here and it'll open up a window on the side. Um, I already have it on the side, so I'm just going to click on that. And as you can see, now we will. Um, now we have an outline, but one of the pieces connected to it. So to, to undo that, what you want to do is right click and ungroup. Um, and now it should be just the outline by itself. Uh, so now just so that we know what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and make this red and so right now there's one p behind it so right click arrange and send to back and now you have just the outline with the text on top of it um so now this right here would be perfect to uh, import it into blender so what you do is you go to file um export and export it as an svg so click on svg uh double p i guess um export okay and now we're gonna go and open up blender really quick and we're going to do the fun part now, which is we're, we're going to take that logo and we're going to extrude it. We're going to do the holes and we're going to do the diamonds and all that cool stuff. So follow along, get rid of our defaults, file, import, import SVG right here, scalable vector graphics and uh, go to wherever you saved it. I have it on my hard drive and then double P um, and here we got the file. Uh, so what I like to do is I like to go to top view number seven. And by the way, by the way, I was able to get this cool um, shortcut add-on. So now you'll be able, you guys will be able to see um, what I'm clicking, which I know you guys have been asking for that for the longest. So here it is. I actually show you what I click. So it'll be cool for you guys. 
anyways uh back to what i was saying um we're gonna go ahead and take our inside piece right here these two um if you are having a problem selecting them just you can select them over the um scene collection anyways we're gonna go to top view click number seven and um we're actually gonna go ahead and control j to merge these into one and we're gonna go to the object data properties go to geometry um extrude we're gonna extrude this a little bit and then we're gonna take the outline and we're gonna extrude it um a whole lot like like so so the outline is actually gonna be the uh pendant and if you click on the inside and you gz and bring it up like so um what this is gonna do is it's basically gonna look, gonna take the outline as the main shape and the two inside piece is gonna make a hole or indentation on that outline pendant so that inside that indentation we're gonna be able to add um diamonds to it so to do that um if you look at your logo from the front view so click one on your numpad uh you'll be able to see the um how 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 deep it is so you can move it up or down just keep in mind the more lower it is the deeper the, the indentation is going to be so i would say honestly somewhere around here should work um and then once you have this all you want to do is select them both right click convert them into a mesh and then you want to go ahead and add a to the outline you want to add a boolean uh modifier select the uh inside text and then just make sure you have um fast selected and you want to apply this modifier to it so now when we delete our p's right here uh we're supposed to be kept with <laughs> So you'll select the inside piece right here and make sure you leave this at exact so it should stay there control a to apply the modifier and if you delete the piece now as you can see you'll have the uh, pendant with the indentations inside um now to fix this as you can see it looks a little weird click on it go to materials x out of this and then if you bring this tab down like so you'll be able to click on this cavity um uh toggle toggle so toggle that cavity on and then you'll have you'll be able to see the uh, logo a little bit better once you can see this what we need to do to be able to get rid of these weird shadowing and and one not shading um we need to have a better match because right now we have a messed up match so so to fix that all you want to do is add a uh, re rematch modifier and uh, go to smooth remove disconnected and you could bring this all the way up to nine um and if you have a really good computer pump that up to ten it'll look a whole lot better and apply the modifier so now with this what we could do is we could go to um sculpting and if you click on this uh smooth um brush and you zoom in uh f to scale it up like so and for the strength we're gonna do 1.15 and uh just click and drag across the, the the dependent and on the on the bottom as well if you want it to be more smooth you could just bring the strength up so let's say you do 0.5 and as you can see, it gets a whole lot smoother, but I like mine to be sharp, but still have a bit of a smoothness on, on the edges. So go back to layout, um, right click, shade smooth, and uh, here we got our pendant. Pretty cool, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to add diamonds to it, but for you to be able to follow this, you got to go to the edit preferences, go to add on really quick, and make sure that you add the extra mesh so make sure you add mesh extra objects make sure you have that selected go to the safe preferences exit out and when you shift a and you go to match you should be able to have these diamonds down here so diamond and it literally spawns a whole diamond already pre-made for you so all you got to do is scale it down like so go to top view g grab move it inside the pendant make it small and uh we're gonna zoom into it so period um on the numpad and go to front view, GZ, bring it up a little bit like so. I'd say somewhere around there should work. And uh, now uh, our goal here is to place this diamonds inside the pendant. So the, the way that I like to do it is I like to grab my pendant, GY to move it over here like so. And uh, Alt, keep this in mind. When you're gonna duplicate this, you wanna Alt D to make a duplicate. It'll be better than if you, if you just control D. Cause the thing is when you do that, it just makes a duplicate of it, but you have more match in your uh, uh, your scene. If you Alt D, it makes a it makes a copy of that shape, but the match stays with the same count as the first one, so it doesn't load up your scene. It doesn't make your computer work harder. So, anyways, once you have these two diamonds, one next to each other, 
you scale it down so that it fits perfect over here and this could be really all the way up to up to you up to, up to your liking you can make some diamonds smaller than others you can make them all the same size really totally up to you um but then what once i do what, what i would do after that is all d and move it up like so and i'll start duplicating diamonds like that so i'm actually gonna speed up this process so you guys don't get boring watching all this uh go ahead and add your diamonds in there and then i'll see you on the other side All right, so once you have your diamonds inside your pendant like this, so they're all laid out like that, you could either uh, bring them in a bit more, um, whatever you find cooler, right? Um, and if you want, so that it looks more detailed and a whole lot better, you can add smaller diamonds in, inside, like in between all those big diamonds. I'm not gonna do that, because then this will make this tutorial a uh, whole lifetime. lifetime. Um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and keep it like this. Um, I pretty much what I did was I did the first P and then since it's basically the same on the other side I just mirrored those diamonds to the other side with this mirror modifier. So control a to apply it So once you have this rx 90, we're gonna rotate this up like 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 so go to number one to go to front view Places right in the middle like so so now of course after you have this what you would want is um, This little hook the the hook not the hook the the hook the hook the hook yeah <laughs> I'm down. jeez probably can't speak for shit you're gonna add the hook and um so to do that what i did was i added a uh taurus rx 90 of course you want to make this smaller so for pendants um it's, if you can see this reference right here they basically have a, a loop on top of the pendant and then they have the other ring that ties that that's what ties into the chain so that was weird that was very weird but um so to do that pretty much all you do is you shift a and add a taurus um rx 90 and uh again this is why it is a lovely thing to look for references um gz and then bring this up like so um it should be sitting right on top of it um, sink it in a, just a bit, just a tiny bit. I would say, honestly, somewhere around there should work. Go to front view, make sure it's centered, um, and right there should should work. Once you have this, go to go to side view, make sure it's also centered on the other side. So right there, right in the center. Um, and once you have this, all you would pretty much want to do is add a another uh, boolean modifier to your pendant. So go to boolean select this Taurus right here and um we're gonna put union and once you have this all you want to do is apply it and once you apply it hide the bottom one delete this one and then unhide it again and here we got our um pendant with the with the loop and everything so now we would have to create the top ring and to do that um what i did was i added a quick um plane um now this is a bit tricky so just follow along um with this plane i select this left edge right here and um go to top view move it on the y-axis like so somewhere around there should work and now on the side view you're just gonna basically star um extruding this so e to extrude until you could make a quick loop and you want this to end somewhere around there so now what you would do is you would add a mirror modifier to it so we'll add a mirror modifier make sure you have origin to geometry so what you could do with this is if you add a duplicate so shift d and move on the y-axis rz 180 that went wrong rz 180 gy to move it back like so and you select them both Control j to merge them into one go to edit uh, mode and on while having your number two selected up here for your edges edge edge selection shift e and you want to f to fill 
and do the same up here select these two and F to fill and here you got your weird loop um, now what you could do is scale Y to make this thinner somewhere around there and scale X to make this even thinner somewhere around here and now of course we want to scale this down period to zoom in and that way we can see what we're doing and you just kind of make it fit perfectly nice in here so GY move it like so And now I know that some of you guys might be saying there's no thickness to it. And to do that, literally all you got to do is add a solidify modifier, add some thickness to it. Somewhere around there should work. Make sure you have even thickness selected. Um, and then that's pretty much, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. We're going to apply this modifier really quick. And here we got our pendant. So once you have this, all you want to do is add some cool materials to it. And to do that. Um, what you would want to do is if you go to Google real quick, um, and over here, if you type in diamond I O R, um, it'll show you what number you need for the I O R. So as you can see, I O R values, you can use when you create variable materials, liquids, and much more. So diamond is 2.419. So what I would do, let's go to render view. Let's add a quick light right there so that we can see what we're doing um i like to do quick light actually let me not confuse you this is an add-on that i have i don't want to i don't want to confuse you guys so just add a quick area light gz bring it up like so somewhere on here let's go to cycles gpu compute selected and so really quick what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this one once more and we're going to have this aim at our pendant so that we have a light right in front of it and then we're gonna add a quick dim uh, diamond material to our diamond. So go to materials, add new. You can type in diamond really quick. Um, and then transmission, bring it all the way up. Roughness all the way down. And then for the IOR, you wanna type in the um, IOR that we have right here, which is, uh, what did I say before it was? Uh, 2.418. And here we have our diamond material. Now for the pendant itself, of course you want to add, you could either add gold or a nice um, silver. So I'm going to go with a gold. So somewhere around here should work. Uh, metallic all the way up. Roughness, let's do 0.1. Uh, and then let's play around with this yellow color a little bit. So maybe somewhere around there. Uh, let's do, let's do white. I think white is better. And then you add the same material to our um, loop. So right here. And let's name it actually silver. And here is how you make your pendant in Blender. Super easy, simple to do. I showed you how to do custom text on Illustrator, which I've done before, but why not do it again? Uh, you could actually shade smooth this and then go to uh, normals and auto smooth. It'll look uh, better. And then same thing for this right here. So you could also shade smooth and go to auto smooth and it'll look better as well. So yeah, this is how you do a pendant in Blender. Um, you could either play also with the background, make it make it look cool. You know what I mean? Um, so anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to drop a like down below. Comment what you want to see next. Um, subscribe if you're new to the channel and again if you want the uh the, the project file just go to the link in bio and uh, subscribe to my patreon but anyways that being said i'm out have a blessed day